Residents in Buffalo are mourning the devastating deaths of those killed in yesterday's mass shooting. 18-year-old Peyton Gendron is in custody and on suicide watch tonight for what authorities are calling a racially motivated hate crime. CBS's news Kevin Rincon explains. This is not open season on, on, on African Americans. In Buffalo, there's grief and anger the day after a mass shooting left 10 dead and three injured. The message that should be sent is we won't tolerate this. Angry, upset, heartbroken. Jerome Bridges says he was working in aisle 14 at the Tops Friendly Market when a gunman wearing armor and military style clothing opened fire. I started running and then he stopped firing for a minute, reloaded, and started firing again. Police say it took less than two minutes for officers to arrive and force the gunman, who was live streaming the rampage, to surrender. This individual came here with the exp expressed purpose of taking as many black lives as he possibly could. According to police, 11 of the 13 victims were black. The evidence that we have uncovered so far makes no mistake that this is an absolute racist hate crime. Dion Elliott lost his brother. He was at the store buying a cake for his son's birthday. And now I have no brother. He's got no father. Is that fair? This community lost an 86 year old mother of a retired fire commissioner. They also lost the life of a police officer who was retired working as a security guard. I can't say enough about our retired fellow colleague Aaron Salter who confronted this individual to save the lives of others, and may he rest in peace. The suspect is in custody on suicide watch after pleading not guilty to a murder charge. Police say so far the investigation shows he acted alone. Kevin Rincon, CBS News, Buffalo, New York.